Good morning once again. Good morning from the beautiful Airbnb. Uh, today we're gonna head to Pike Place Market and Starbucks and see what else is there to do. Maybe catch a glimpse of Mount Rainier. So more touristy things today. So uh, <clears throat> let's catch a train to Pike Place Market, get a cup of coffee and some breakfast. Let's go. Found it. We found the Pike Place Market. Seattle's Precious Sea uh, Seafood Fish Market. Pike Place Public Market. All right, here's the fish. Let's see what fishies they have in store for us. It's a bit early, so nothing's open yet. So we're just gonna look first. Here's more seafood. Clam, mussels, ooh, Dungeness crab, crab legs, the size of the lobster tail, the size of my forearm. It's huge. All the seafood. Look at the trout. Oh, look at the salmon. It's huge. This is just, just my hand. This is just my hand. It's huge. It's huge. Look at this big fish. Salmon smells good. Oysters. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Here's even more seafood. There's seafood, seafood paradise. Wow. wow, look at these. It's pretty. Wow. Look at this guy. Squid. They're so moving. Look at this guy. Oh, look at the size of the salmon. Look at the size of the salmon. This guy's Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, friends. Found a good spot with a good view. Take a look. Good harborside Seattle view. Today's gonna be a salmon day. Got some lox bagels. Definitely the most appetizing lox bagels I've ever got. Capers, black peppers, onions, and the smoked. Seattle salmon and a pesto bagel. All right. So we're gonna finish eating. Nothing's open yet, so we're gonna visit it back again when things are open. Mmm. Bagel is soft. It's so good. All right. So good. Tastes so fresh. I know it's smoked, but it tastes really fresh. Really soft with the cream cheese and the bagel. All soft. Mm.
the burst of flavor and savoriness from, from the capers. Aroma from the onions. Uh, and then the, the meatiness of the salmon. It's so good. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Yeah, you know, it's a really simple lox, you know, really minimal. Just all the essentials of a lox capers, onions, smoked salmon, cream cheese, and on a bagel. But it's like definitely the best lox I've ever had. And really affordable. 10 bucks for this. Usually in Nashville, you pay like 20, 18, 15 bucks for like nothing as good or fresh as this. We're at the harbor by the Pike Place Market. There's a Seattle wheel, Seattle Eye, whatever it's called. Lots of boating action going on. Major seaport of America. And there is Mount something. A lot of mountain chains over there. Hopefully that's Mount Rainier. Cause I'm, cause I've been trying to, oh, is that Mount Rainier? See that right there, that cloud looking thing, is that Mount Rainier? Oh snap, I think so. All right, from a local person, that is Mount Rainier. Wow, it looks like a cloud. It's beautiful, beautiful. Snow capped, tall, looks good. Too bad we can't get close enough. Maybe we can find a way to get closer. But yeah, Mount Rainier on an open day. Really pretty. More mountain chains over there. Wow. There's the aquarium in downtown Seattle. Guys, look at this. I have found the world's first Starbucks. Look at this line. First Starbucks. It looks like any other Starbucks. We're not gonna go in there because we're gonna go to the reserve later. So yeah, lots of cool little other shops around Pike Place Market too. Hmm. Chinese food, Bavarian food, German food, uh, kitchen store, hot dogs. Wow. It's just this conglomerate of people around the first Starbucks. We're not gonna go in. Even if I did, there's no room for me to film. This uh, bakery, it's popping. Peroski Peroski. That's like a Middle Eastern, uh, uh, Middle European, Middle European, Russian inspired thing. I got some, it's like a line going on. So I might try it, even though I'm so full, I might try it. That'd be it for now. Thank you. Our little Eastern European pastry. Like well, yesterday, we're just gonna find a place to squat since everywhere here is kind of crowded. Just squat here. Okay. Little pastry, salmon, pate, smoked salmon, pate, bread. Looks like a salmon. It's kind of cool, right? Mmm. Mmm. Creamy salmon and dill. Generous portion of salmon, see that? Hmm. Bread's buttery, it's a bit dry, but it's okay. Hmm. I'm like a bear eating a whole salmon's head. The tail, really good. Hmm. Six out of ten. Real creamy. Tastes a um, lot of salmon. Generous. Mm. Good bang for the buck. I'm so full. People are starting to line up. Are we gonna finish this? Let's keep going. Bike place is huge. There's like a bunch of shops downstairs too. So the market is level four. This is like level two and three. Really interesting. Except I'm here quite early to avoid the crowd, which is a success, but also now where it's open. Barber shops, pottery classes, you know, souvenir shops, everything. Wow, wow, wow. Alright friends, one last look of Pike Place Market. We're heading out. It's getting busy here, so we're gonna head out, 
so glad I get to see the salmon toss at the famous Pike Place Market. Now we're gonna head to Starbucks Reserve. We're here, Starbucks Reserve. You know me, big coffee guy, so hopefully this is uh, worth the hike. Here we are, fancy doors. This is it. Starbucks Reserve. Alright, here we go. Starbucks Reserve. Ooh, big place here. Big place. Wow, look at this. So cool. Hello, thank you. Check it out. This place is huge. Got a bakery over there. Ooh, here's another coffee. Coffee beans. A bunch of other machinery I'm not too familiar with. Fresh baked goods. Lots of coffee. Big roastery. Looks amazing. Uh, lots and lots of machine. I don't think I can go down there. But yeah, this place is huge. I'm gonna order a flight taste test. Uh, and check out how good it is. Anna. This is so interesting. All right, boyos, we got too much coffee. Three pots, just for me. Uh, so this is the origin flight. We got the rabbit test bland, Papua New Guinea, Guatemala. I'm gonna try all these different origin blends out. So they said this is the origin tasting test, the taste flight. Comes with a bunch of cups. I'm excited. This is gonna be fun. All right, let's try some coffee. First one, let's try. Let's try this gravitas blend. Gravitas blend. Let's see it. Ooh, looks light. Mmm, smells good. All right, gravitas blend. I like it. Medium. Tastes like a medium roast. Smoky, nutty, nutty notes. Mm. Real nutty and fruity. Next one. I saw the Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. It's a country in Southeast Asia. So Southeast Asian countries are tend to be a little bit sweet notes. Tend, tend to be a bit sweet, a little berry-like, tropical-like. Uh, okay, let's see how this Papua New Guinea tastes. Wow, wow, yeah. Fruity, fruity tastes immediately. Fruity notes. Really light, refreshing aftertaste. Much more light. It's still like a medium roast, medium roast. The light aftertaste, more refreshing than the other one. The other one is more hearty, good breakfast coffee. This is a really refreshing one. Last one, Guatemala. Last one of the origin taste flight. Guatemala. This one is a bit, it looks a bit, a bit more silky. It looks a bit less creamy. Mm, bold as one. This one is bold. It's really balanced. Balanced, bold, smoky. So yeah, this one is, is a hearty, breakfast, nutty. Up in New Guinea, fruity, refreshing, light. And that Guatemalan, balanced. Balanced, smooth. But yeah, this is really good. I'm glad I got to, I got to uh, experience this. Yeah, Starbucks. I'm gonna figure out what to do with the rest of the coffee. Maybe I'll drink it all and never go to sleep ever again. Or share with a stranger. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. End result Starbucks Reservery. We're gonna head on out soon and keep exploring the busy streets of Seattle, Washington. The mean streets. Look where I'm at. 
Guess what that is? We're going to the Space Needle. It's pretty far up close, but we're gonna get a bit closer. We are at the famous Seattle Space Needle. Look at this thing. Look at this beauty. Wow, it's bigger in person. And the cloudless blue beautiful sky doesn't help it. it doesn't hurt it either. Yep, so here it is. Oop, let me get out of there. Also, behind me is a museum of pop culture. Don't think I have time to go inside, but it seems interesting. Looks like they have a queen exhibit going on. But here it is. The beautiful Seattle Space Needle. Don't think I'll go inside, because I think it's a waste of money. And yesterday's Columbia Tower was taller anyway. So I'm gonna admire it from the outside, you know? Boom, beautiful day outside. Wow, 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 wow. Busy, bunch of street food, wow. Amazing place. Here's the base of the tower. Get your tickets there. Yeah, I guess let's continue with this, uh, finish this journey by touching the Space Needle. Okay, all right. Officially touched the Space Needle. So there you go, been to the Space Needle. All right, there it goes. All right, looks fun. Keep walking around a little bit. I'm gonna meet up with a friend for lunch. I went to Hiroshi's Poke by University of Washington. Oh, okay. It is the best poke I've ever had. So much salmon, it's very fresh. Mac salad, so many veggies, it's so good. Seattle waterfront. Looks like that's the uh, aquarium, Seattle Aquarium. This is uh, just walking along the waterfront. Sorry, it's so noisy. The waterfront's just walking down Alaskan Way. Just, you know, walking by the beach, the harbor, looking for, you know, something to do. My last little bit of Seattle before I go home and uh, pack and get ready to fly out tomorrow. Um, so yeah, Alaskan Way. If I keep walking this way, maybe I'll reach Alaska eventually. But not today, not this vlog. Uh, yeah, walking close to the harbor. Can't fall in, I can't swim, remember? So, yeah, we're just gonna keep walking down. Last bit of Seattle. All right, the waterfronts. All right, yeah, just keep walking down. Uh, enjoy my last few moments of Seattle and get some dinner. And I'll see you guys then. Last view of beautiful Oceanside, Seattle. At the beach. Okay, so we have reached Pier 70. Pier 70. Last official stop of our Seattle vlog. Wow, wow, wow. Reminds me of the pier in uh, New York City. Beautiful. All you see is ocean, boats, clouds, and mountain. What else do you need except for this big statue of who knows what? All right, Seattle. To end my trip in Seattle, I was in Tsukushimbo, the best hidden Japanese place I could ever imagine. It was so good and here's what we had. What better way to start than with some small appetizers and some good sake. And, uh... Here's a toast to all you viewers to live life to its fullest, eat well, travel safe, and just be happy. This right here is gyotan or beef tongue. It looks thin, but it's actually really rich in flavor and has a really strong, meaty, beefy flavor. It's really good and I would definitely recommend. Next we have one of my favorite fried foods, a soft shell crab tempura, and to balance it out, some veggies, some green soba noodles with vegetables. This is the green soba. You gotta get some sort of healthy things in there. And luckily, this one tastes really good. Now, this soft shell crab tempura. Crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. And it's so good with this delicious sauce. 
Then came this mountain of nothing but freshness and goodness. Salmon, tuna, scallops, avocado, nothing but pure deliciousness here. Now the main course is what else but this delicious, fresh, local salmon and this array of sashimi. I mean, we've been looking at bad boys like this in the market all day, so we had to get this. But it was so fat and hearty, and the skin was crispy. It was definitely one of the best salmons I've ever had. Some salmon sashimi, just fresh, pure salmon. Salmon in its purest form, and also my favorite way to eat salmon. A mackerel sashimi. Taco octopus sashimi. Some tuna sashimi. Yellowtail sashimi. Some arctic clam sashimi. With closing thoughts, I have nothing but love for the city of Seattle. It's a really unique city with its own wacky personality, very innovative, smart, and very artistic. A city full of diverse and very open-minded people that I'm so glad that I got to meet. So glad that I made this trip, and I'm so glad that you guys joined me throughout this journey. And one last toast. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and have a good night.